When nations around the world designed their money, birds became a surprisingly common theme, much more than other animals. Let's look at some valuable birds. Brazil's 5 real banknote features a great egret, and their 10 real banknote has a green-winged macaw. Japan's 10,000 yen bill has a ho-oh, which is a legendary bird rather than a real one, but still very impressive. Australia has this really pretty 10-cent coin with a superb lyre bird. Big points for style. And the 50-cent coin has an emu in there. South Korea has a red-crowned crane on its 500 won coin. And doves feature on a 200 lira banknote from Turkey. The country, not the bird. In Romania, the 50 lu coin has an eagle. The Malaysian 5 ringgit has a rhinoceros hornbill. And I like these coins from Indonesia that feature birds. The 50 rupiah coin has a black-naped oriole. The 100 rupiah coin has a beautiful palm cockatoo. And the 200 rupiah coin has a bali mina. And the Canadian dollar coin, which has a picture of a common loon. What that says about Canadians is up to you. But check out this $1 bird coin. In 1986, the Bank of Canada issued a new series of bills. They chose to have big, simple designs so that counterfeit currency could be easily detected. And they chose birds because of their political neutrality. Everyone in the country can like birds. Each species was chosen for being distributed across Canada and being a similar color to the banknote. Check out these beautiful bird bills. $2 American Robins, $5 Belted Kingfisher, $10 Osprey, $20 There's the Common Loon again, $50 Snowy Owl, $100 Canada Goose, and for this series they had a $1,000 bill which featured a pair of pine grosbeaks. Those are some valuable birds. But in the modern day, the country with the most bird-centric currency is New Zealand. Almost all the birds are endemic to New Zealand, meaning they are native species, not found anywhere else in the world. And they all have names given by the native Maori people, which is this thing I love about New Zealand that we'll talk about in a different video. Anyway, here are the money birds. Dollar coin, kiwi. Two dollar coin, kotuku, the eastern gray egret. Five dollars. Hoi Ho, the yellow-eyed penguin, $10, Wio, the blue duck, $20, Kareareya, Rea, the New Zealand falcon, $50, Kokoko, the blue wattled crow, $100, Mohua, the yellowhead. And we're not done yet because each bill in New Zealand also has a metallic security bird, and the front of each bill also has a metallic color-changing second security bird. New Zealand has really gone with the bird theme for their money. See, in my research I noticed that a currency tells you a lot about the country it's from. Money can just have numbers, which is the point after all. But most countries choose symbols that they feel represent their values. This currency is literally valuable, so it connects the common culture of the nation to something tangible in someone's hand. For example, the bald eagle was chosen as a symbol of the United States in 1782. It was seen as an independent, virtuous bird which matched the young country's ideals. So you see the bald eagle on the national seal, the quarter, and the one dollar bill, and so many other places. This tells a story to the people who handle the money. This is what we stand for. When you see a bird on currency, that country is telling you something about themselves. And birds are very good as symbols. They soar high. They represent wilderness. They connect to shared folklore. They embody independence. They represent peace. They tell us stories about ourselves and our nations. Speaking of birds and currency, you can support the creation of more videos like this one on Patreon. For this bird-filled 10,000 Colombian peso bill, which is the most birdie banknote in the world, or for one bald eagle US dollar, you can get access to exclusive articles about birds. Go to biobush.tv support to see. Thanks for learning about bird bills, or 
I mean birds on bells. You can watch another bird positive video on this channel, or you can subscribe before you cash out and move on. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.